Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Laura Noland at JSA. Joining me today is Peter Bannister, CEO of Fiber Expressway. Peter, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you very much. Well, Peter, let's start off by talking about Fiber Expressway. Can you tell our viewers about the company and your role? Yeah, okay. So Fiber Expressway was set up in 2017 as a special purpose vehicle to look at building a, a subsea cable and data centre ecosystem here in the west coast of Australia and Northern Territories. Um, I'm the CEO of that company. Uh, we have a small team. Um, we have a chief operating officer sitting up in Tokyo and it's a uh, more the built the company's built around an outsourcing model so we partner with large global organizations to help us build the project oh wonderful we're hearing more though about fiber expressway's big initiative building a gateway from australia mm -hmm. to southeast asia and then beyond with project kuwaiti can you tell us more about that okay yeah kuwaiti is a japanese word that literally means to go beyond um, there are many subsea cables in the ocean and there are many data centers. I think ours is fairly unique in the fact that we own the data centers and the subsea cable. So we, we are having interesting discussions with uh, content providers who now can come to one company to get their needs for the subsea cable and the data center. Whereas at the moment they go to two separate companies and that can have problems around service levels agreements and that sort of thing. And our cable goes from Perth all the way internationally through uh, eventually through Indonesia, Singapore, and in Malaysia, where we will link up with a, a very large American cable that's coming the other way, which we we not allowed to mention, but it's coming down. And we also got the coast of Western Australia to the Northern Territories, uh, which is a very remote area, but even closer to Asia. So our proximity to Asia Pacific is what attracts our customers. It's alternative to, to Asia. Peter, you mentioned how the subsea cable and data center businesses are very competitive. Uh, you talked mm -hmm. a little bit about the uniqueness of Fiber Expressway and Project Coete. So can you expand a little bit more about that and how that's impacting how you're moving forward? Yeah, as I say, the uniqueness is very much that we um, build this ecosystem as one thing. So the data centers and the subsea cable is paired to those data centers. So they're designed together. Uh, and as I say, a company can come to us for the whole raft of services. One, one of the companies we deal with on this project is, a, is the American company Sienna. And they talk very much about what they call the cloudy ocean, about the need for data centers with its own subsea cable um, and that's exactly the unique um, solution we're putting together here um, for, for that project. Who are some of your other target customers, verticals and partners? I know you mentioned Sienna but who else is on the horizon there? Yeah, the Sienna, Sienna will be actually a partner with us. They provide some of the technology for us but here in Western Australia it's a very big mining uh, um, country, uh, big American companies, uh, big uh, companies here like BHP, also uh, oil and gas and floating LNG off the coast. So they're more, um, we call them domestic markets, but they're normally owned by international companies. Um, but from Asia uh, and America, we, we are looking at the content providers, financial services companies who can put uh, trading systems here in West Australia. Um, and any, any um, international organization that's sitting in Asia at the moment is, is a target customer for us. So we can give them the same services um, as they get in Asia. And we think a better, better price and a better um, proximity to come and work as well. Here, it sounds like momentum is, is really building with an anticipated live date in 2023. But let me ask you, what yeah, effect that, has, has COVID had on this project, if any? Has there been any effect in uh, that timeline? Yes, you're spot on. Uh, I was at the PTC in uh, Hawaii earlier this year, January, and um, heard rumours about COVID and, and being typically sort of English and Australian thought that will never happen. Of course, it has. Um, so that's probably... Um, 
when I say delayed, delayed things for about nine months, it's the time of COVID's been delayed because we obviously had to go out and raise a huge amount of money to build this project. That was all going very, very well till COVID uh, struck. So the, the big money is still there. Uh, some of the development capital we've had to raise, which we've now done, has taken us a little bit longer. So I think that will roll back into 2024 now instead of 2023. But that, that's, as I say, that's because of COVID, although COVID has been good for us because the demand for bandwidth has, has increased incredibly. And also the information that they have, they need to store it somewhere. So for data centres, again, that's been good business for us. We'll be watching for updates for sure. So where can our viewers go to learn more about Fiber Expressway and Project Kuwaiti? Um, there is a website, which is uh, www.fiberexpressway.com. Um, you'll see a few media releases come out soon uh, with some of the partner organisations we have. As I said, it's an outsourcing model. Uh, we're a small company, so we're engaging with Tata Group, the Indian um, technology company, Sienna I mentioned before, and there's a company called Verdif around data centers. So I think we'll be doing some joint um, announcements with those guys. We, we obviously have uh, uh, some uh, confidentiality things we have to agree with mm -hmm. them, but they're keen to get the project advertised as well. We'll go check them out and look for those news mm -hmm. updates. We thank mm. you so much for your time, Peter. It's been a pleasure. Okay, thank you very much for your time. And thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA podcasts. Happy networking.